<laughs> Hello, Scorpio, and thank you for joining me for your daily tarot energy reading for Monday, December 13th. Messages for Scorpio. Okay. Angels and spirit guides, divine messages for Scorpio. Angels and spirit guides, what messages do we have for Scorpio? What messages do Scorpio need to see? Wow. Okay. a lot, so I'm going to squish them onto that other row. Alright, here we go. We have pause. If you're feeling unsure about a decision, there's probably a good reason. Take your time and think it through. There's no need to rush. Allow your heart's wisdom to guide you. If you feel pressure to act immediately, it's probably a sign that this isn't the right opportunity. Don't worry, because more opportunities will come along, and the right one will fit like a gorgeous glove. Okay, so take your time. Not every opportunity is meant for you, and that's okay. Be a natural beauty. Your entire body is precious, so choose personal care products that reflect your consciousness and commitment to self-love. Say no to toxins, and yes to the healthiest ingredients possible. You deserve to look and feel great, and you are worth the effort. Be a natural beauty. And then we have listen to your body. No matter how bad we feel, our bodies are always working on our behalf to create health and vitality. Meet your body halfway by acting on the messages it sends you. Whether it's a whisper or a roar, don't ignore what you hear. Listen to your body. It wants the best for you. Okay, you might need to drink more water, get more sleep, get more exercise. We have Tell the Truth. Two rabbits on there. The forest. Communicate with integrity. You may need to level with someone, and this person could even be you. Are you saying you're fine when you don't mean it? Are you swallowing your needs because you don't want to rock the boat? When we hide the truth, it eventually comes out in destructive ways. Act with integrity and say what's on your mind. While honesty may lead to short-term discomfort, your long-term peace and happiness are worth it. I totally agree. You can't please everyone. How true is that? So you shouldn't even try. When you're focused on living up to other people's standards, you are, aren't spending enough time raising your own. Some folks expect you to act a certain way and match to the beat of their boring drum. They find safety and sameness, but you have beautiful music inside of you. Your flair is meant to be shared. Don't shrink to fit in or get approval. Instead, dump your need to please and just be your magnificent self. I think that's so important. Dump your need to please and just be your magnificent self. So then we have notice the blessings. Notice the transformative energy. Gratitude puts us in a position of having instead of wanting, thanking rather than complaining. When we focus on what we already have and take stock of our blessings, we get more blessings. What are you grateful for? Share it with yourself and others. And then we have risk it. That bird is taking flight. I feel like you're taking flight as well. Great things are born from those brave enough to fly. Those who are willing to risk failure. Your dreams requ require action and you're ready to make a move. Remember, you have nothing to lose. Even if you flop, you'll receive valuable insight. So get off your butt and take a leap. Go for it. 
And we have share your gifts, the camera. There, you may be a photographer or into photography or videography. Your creativity positively impacts the world. It's ripe with beauty and innovation. Everyone benefits from your art, especially you. Get to know your talented inner muse. Nurture your vision. Your unique gifts are meant to be shared. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And we have You Did It. Hooray! Success is here or just around the corner. You've worked hard and your efforts are paying off. Congratulate yourself and truly savor your fantastic victory. Just remember that success comes in cycles, so we can't be at the top of our game 24-7. We succeed, celebrate, rest, renew, and succeed again. Know where you are in this journey. You did it before, and you'll do it again and again. And then we have 39, Romantic Love. Frequency of Romantic Love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and reflection of a conscious lover. 40, Soul Time. Frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. One that embraces the concept that while the corporeal, corporeal body is mortal, the soul is timeless, limitless, and infinite. And so are you. You're timeless, limitless, and infinite. We have number 20, discernment. Frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet with compassion and wisdom. We have number 38, remembrance. Frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul and a body, providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life. Number 35, perception. You can see the wheel there. Frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and take a good, hard, deep look at it. We have three, solar plexus chakra. Frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self our personal power and our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. I feel you're getting a solar plexus chakra activation. Your confidence is really getting a, a, a spiritual boost. And you're really starting to feel much more safer in your expression of yourself. And we have um, 33, Miracle. Frequency of miracle supports our belief in ourselves as a part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. I agree, anything is possible. And we have number 15, compassion. Frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter, so that our unconditional love can flow from source through our heart and into the world. And we have number 24, Earth. Frequency of Earth activates our deep connection to this physical plane by showing us the beauty of all the aspects of our Great Mother and revealing the more ethereal, spiritual aspects of our nature. We see this echoing green color and pattern in this previous card, Compassion. And then we have, um, I'm going to show you both together up close, actually. They're like mirror images, pretty much. Then we have 31, magic. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment, to move toward possibilities and expressions that are as grand and as profound as we can imagine. All that, is, all that is required is our belief in their manifestation. So you have miracle and magic. Anything is possible and belief in their manifestation. So believe that your manifestations are possible. I'm going to pull a trinket. 
You got the two intertwined hearts, so a significant love relationship, a soulmate, a partner, a boyfriend, girlfriend, a um, love interest coming your way soon. And it jumped right there on uh, romantic love, so that's where it's going to stay. Number, number 39, romantic love. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm still growing my subscriber base. Thank you so very much for watching. You have a wonderful day.